Welcome to Arizona State University's Global Freshman Academy. This tutorial video will cover how to input answers for the first few topics in Alex. After reading the learning page for a topic, we are ready to begin practicing, so we click the start button in the bottom left part of the screen. At the top right part of the screen, the bars show you how many correct answers you need in a row. And there's an explanation button near the bottom left part of the screen in case you get stuck. To input answers, we click the blue box. And following the directions, we use our keyboard to input either less than, greater than, or equal to signs in each box. Then we hit check to see if our answer is correct. And we answer these problems until we have answered however many we need to in a row to move on to a different topic. We can click the arrow at the top left part of the screen to select different topics to work on. Then we hit start to begin working on the topic. To enter our answers, again we click the blue box and use our keyboard to enter the value. We do this for each blue box and then hit check to see if our answer is correct. The next topic deals with exponents. When we are inputting an exponent into our answer, we need to click the button to the right of our answer box. This allows us to input an exponent value. Then we hit check to see if our answer is correct. This next topic teaches us about fractions. When inputting fractions, we have to click the button to the right of the answer box that has the fraction bar. Then we can enter our value for the numerator and denominator. Then we check to see if our answer is correct. One final topic deals with exponents again. The instructions say to write our answer without parentheses. Once again, our answer is going to include an exponent, so we click the button to the right of the answer box. This allows us to put in an exponent value. Then we click check to see if our answer is correct. 